we can verify in some cases that we've got a good spark just by looking from the rear sight port on the burner. So if we can look in there and we see a spark, a uh, blue spark usually indicates that there's plenty of air at the spark. If we've got a very dull or orange spark, it could indicate that we've got too much gas pressure on the pilot, which could cause the pilot to, to run rich and, and soot like we saw on that other pilot assembly. Um, when we're running or when we're setting up our pilot, we do want to make sure that we've got the right gas pressure and that we've got ga gas pressure at all. And the tools we use to provide that are a pilot regulator and a pilot solenoid. The pilot solenoid is going to energize at the pilot moment of ignition and our regulator is going to ensure that we have the correct pressure to the pilot. Now burner manuals will typically give you a range for proper pilot gas pressure. But one of the biggest mistakes that we see is if somebody has a random pilot failure, one of the first things they'll do is crank down that regulator to give it more gas. And that's not always the right direction to go because we, we can actually have too much gas to have a reliable pilot. So it needs to be set correctly. And we can verify that pilot pressure with a manometer. So we're gonna run this when we get to the pilot ignition phase, I'm going to lock it in test and we can look at that pressure and I'll move the pilot uh, regulator in and out to see uh, what the spring range essentially is. And, and generally what I will do if I've got a nuisance pilot is I will test it until I see where the high end is, where I have problems, and I'll run it with very little gas until I see where I start to lose flame signal. And I'll try to split that difference because I feel like that gives me the best margin for error on both sides. So I'm going to lock this in pilot and we can look at that pressure as I adjust it. So I've got this locked in test and I can see I'm at right about 1.9 inches. I've got a 5 volt flame signal, so that seems like it lit immediately and is reliable. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and drive the regulator through the range and see if my flame signal uh, is equal throughout. So when I get that gas pressure below an inch, I start seeing my flame signal drop in, drop out. And that may mean that that pilot's not large enough to wrap around and get in front of the scanner, but it also may not be reliable for light off. Now I've moved it to 4.6 inches, which is giving me a lot more pilot gas. And I've got a good flame signal, but what I don't know is whether or not it would light off reliably at that pressure. So I'm going to restart it and we'll witness that. So it did light with the max gas pressure on it, but that doesn't ensure that that's going to be reliable in the long term. And, and one reason that high gas pressure can be a problem at the pilot is because we may, we may only have an instant when the spark comes on that we have the right mixture. And if it doesn't light at at that moment, if it has too much gas pressure, it may not light at all. So there's a test we can do called the pilot flood test. And what we'll do is we'll let the solenoid energize without the ignition transformer powered, and we'll apply the spark five seconds into the pilot. And if we've got too rich of a mixture, it actually won't light um, at that moment. So what we want is a gas-air mixture that will uh, reliably light it at any moment in the 10 second pilot trial. So if we've got too much gas, it's only got a very small window to be successful and that's not the best for reliability. So I'm going to use this method to jump power to the transformer. I've interrupted it with uh, a pair of alligator clips and this will allow me to apply power at the five second mark on the pilot trial. And if we get a flame signal right away, then our pilot's not flooded. If we don't, then that indicates that the gas that we've got is excessive for reliable light off. So apparently, even with the higher gas pressure, 
we're getting a reliable light off five seconds into introducing gas. So our pilot's not flooding in this case, but I've encountered many times where on the high end of the regulator output, we can have such a, an amount of gas in there that the spark just generates carbon and not a flame in its attempt to light off.